So, hello guys. Uh, my name is Pedro. I'm 27 and I'm an ex ICT mentorship student. I'm doing this video uh, because I felt the necessity since everyone in this world um, tends to hide themselves behind the, an icon and some type of bullshit nicknames. So, to start, um, <clears throat> I was introduced to trading in April 2020, precisely Forex, and I started following ICT in July, August of 2020. The way that I was introduced uh, to trading led me to think that smart money concepts were one of the best ways to approach uh, the market. So I narrowed all my attention to ICT concepts and didn't even waste time with all the retail stuff as people normally call it. I started by watching his YouTube videos, but I felt it wasn't enough. And that's when I started seeing posts about his 2020, uh, 2021, I mean, uh, mentorship. Um, at that point, I already thought that, oh, ICT talks too much and we need to listen a long round and try to learn something, but maybe in the mentorship um, should be different because we are paying a full, a, full, a full year of teaching and since it's one year, it should be a really complete course, but it was just bullshit. Um, in September of 2020, um, back in my country, Portugal, um, due to the COVID situation and other personal things, I had to sell my business that I created by myself and effort. And all of, all of a sudden, I saw myself without a job and without a penny. And right away, I moved to here, UK, um, <clears throat> to live with my, my girlfriend. Uh, that's uh, at this point, that's when I decided to pursue trading because as you guys know, <laughs> once you are in, you never came out, you never come out. So, um, I turned all my focus and time to learn how to trade properly and find consistency, um, not to be rich, but at first just to pay my bills. Just was my first uh, objective let's say um, so in january 2021 mentorships starts uh, month one month two month three month four month five and nothing new comes in nothing at month five six i'd say i was already full full of listen Michael's bullshit runs and a lot of times I thought to myself why I'm still paying if I I'm learning nothing that really improves my my trading and he just talks about random shits most of the time why that's when I start looking to other traders and started to realize that even simple things like market structure and or really know really uh, well about market market structure um, is more useful than all the Michael's teachings. Um, so nine of ten, nine ten of the mentorship weekly videos are just random stuff without any real useful teachings, any. Um, when Michael says that he calls the market every week, this in reality is like 50% true and another 50% false. Basically, uh, basically, 
most of the time it gives us two views of the actual market. So he, he says like, okay, folks, now we are here. If the market does this, then we are bullish. So if the market, um, if the market, uh, if not, I want to see market goes there and then turns bearish and does this. this. So in simple words is, is what happens all the time, this. Um, almost 80% of the time he kept saying that we was in a high risk environment market and um, and he probably was wrong about the, the calls and blah, 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 blah. And the market was not consistently showing his signatures in price section, as he says. Um, while I was seeing other traders uh, catching trades day in and day out, basically. Uh, not forget to mention uh, his correlation bullshit that he al always refers to as a holy grail to make people believe that is an incredible and super sophisticated thing making some people even more confused and having the feeling of missing something very important but the reality is as simple as the xy going up and euro usd going down that it is completely useful useful in my point of view completely useful um another funny fact that I always found weird is before we start the mentorship, we have to sign uh, NDA. So we cannot share the information uh, that we learn inside the mentorship, basically. Um, point number one is it does not teach anything important that is not, that is not public yet or that cannot be learned through the leaked content or even his um, YouTube videos. So point number two is there's a lot of his students sharing their concepts or teachings on their Instagram posts and accounts. So students that share concepts to the public and still inside the mentorship, for me, it was a bit strange, isn't it? So, at this point, I am I already left the mentorship, uh, just right before the Vini start the um, ICT exposure thing. Um, I'm still not consist consistent. I'm a break-even trader at this point. Um, I'm not doing this to share hate to ICT nor to claim Vini as a, a goat. <laughs> uh, instead, I'm doing this for just for the truth and telling uh, my story. This is a, a short, but a real story. Um, the thing is, I don't consider myself a low IQ. Um, and this is not the reason because I'm still a break even trader nor because I didn't found consistency with ICT um, or neither because the strategy don't, doesn't work. Actually, I know people using it and being consistently catching good trades day in and day out, but definitely not in the way that ICT teaches it. Um, to be honest, uh, ICT just makes you lose time uh, to learn simple things that can be learned in one third of the time and in a much more simpler way. But in ICT words, I mean, in ICT words, my wealth was not 
built from trim. So I think these words say everything. And to finish, um, at the moment I'm working on a shitty part-time job that um, and I'm spending most of the time studying alone, um, trying to find a way or to figure out a way to find some consistency. But at this point I'm feeling, to be honest, I'm feeling a bit lost and I don't know what to do. Um, I know that there are a lot of people out there in this uh, situation, I'd say, um, in the same situation that I'm trying to pass here, um, but probably I will try another approach to the markets and I will try out of box uh, since it can be used for futures and forex as well, as you guys may know. Um, so you guys, don't let people like ICT influence you or the way that you think because that's what ICT does all the time and always think by yourself and be critical with every educator because even with some people that think that is um, smart ICT can get you because ICT is a fucking bastard man, con man, fraudster. So you guys need to be very careful. I don't, I, I'm not talking about the concepts. I'm just talking about the person, nothing more. So as you guys <laughs> may have noticed, I was reading this, 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 just not because someone told me to, I'm just, uh, I'm just doing it because English is not my native language, so I was afraid uh, to didn't know what to say. So that being said, see ya.